Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us this truth, and honors and citations to the elect. So first and foremost, man, let me get the uh, scripture. Search it real quick. Oh, this is Proverbs 23 and 23. It says, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. All right. Now, of course, you could get, you know, spiritual meaning behind this. Behind the scripture. But this can also be literal as well to where you know you you buy the truth you come into the truth but you sell it not you know i mean in and in a, in a precept to go with it yahweh shy himself said make not my father's house a house of merchandise so here it is let me get let me let me search that scripture real quick as well, because pretty much, man, I want to get into how the so-called Christianity church is full of crap, man. It's full of crap, and it's not even scriptural. And and their and their origins is 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 damn near paganistic. So this is the book of John, chapter two, verse sixteen. Well, I'll start at verse fourteen, thirteen. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Yahweh Shai went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence. Yeah, get these things out of here. Make not my father's house and house of merchandise. See that? So here it is. Yahweh Shai, who the world really called Jesus. He, he, he got pissed off and lost it, almost lost it. When he saw the temple looking like a, 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 a looking like a Harlem or something, you know? Everybody's selling selling something. Looking like the damn crossings in the Poconos. Where everybody the hustling and bustling. Yo, 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 I got this, I got this. Like, what the hell? That ain't what the temple is about. That ain't what Yahweh Bashmasha is about. So I, I say all that to say how much more selling the actual doctrine. You know, in the temple, in the temple, yo, you want to learn, you want to learn, you want to learn. I got, you want to learn, just give me $20, give me $20. You want to learn, you know, and you got camps that do this. IUIC, just to name one. I will never forget it. I will never forget. I did a lesson on it years back. I seen it with my own eyes. This guy, Nate, was selling. The 12 tribes breakdown on CDs for $70. For $70, he was selling the 12 tribes breakdown. Imagine that. Imagine him being back in the temple. You know, yo, I got the breakdowns, got the breakdown, $70. It's only $70, you know? So come on, Yahweh Shai didn't want you selling oxen and sheep and doves. How much more the actual doctrine? Of the truth, so that you can come back to your nationality and 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 uh in your heritage, man. So, you know, just going back to Proverbs twenty three and twenty three, says, "Buy the truth and sell it not." Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. So yeah, you can say it has a spiritual meaning, you know, to gain the truth and don't sell it for anything, or or pretty much don't sell out, don't give it up. Right. It's just like stocks. 
<laughs> Hang on to it. Don't sell it just yet. But that but that's definitely could be also literal. Okay? Not to be selling this truth. You know, make uh, or making people pay for breakdowns and, and, and understandings. But also the whole concept of money, period. You know, this truth. This truth, Yahweh Shmashai, the ministry. Is, is, is not paid to play, man. You know. It's not paid to become. A teacher. You have to pay your way to become a teacher. That's 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 crazy. But according to the so-called uh, Christianity church, you have to pay to become a teacher. You have to pay to become a teacher, man. You have to pay to become a watchman. You have to pay to become a leader. You know, you got to pay to become a man of the Lord. You got to pay to be anointed, to be an anointed man of the Lord. A man of God, like they say, right? You have to pay in the Christianity church. And this is how much it says per credit cost for an online theology bachelor's degree. And let's get into the theology real quick. <clears throat> it says theology, the study of the nature of God and religious belief. All right. So, you know, so theology is dealing with the Lord. So it says per credit call or according to these so-called Christianity. Per credit calls for an online theology bachelor's degree typically range from $350 to $600. Students should expect to pay between $42,000 and $77,000 in total tuition, man. You know, absurd. This is absurd, man. This is a this is a dirty, dirty laundry in the in the in the Christianity uh you know uh, uh church. All right. Why doesn't vocab talk about this? Ten questions. You know, somebody came out with that. Ten questions to ask a black Hebrew Israel BHI. Yeah. Well, how about how about this? A question to ask a so-called Christian. Why is it that you have to pay between forty-two thousand and seventy-seven thousand to become anointed? Where is that in the scriptures? Where is that in the scriptures to where you have to pay to become a teacher? You have to pay to become a watchman. You have to pay to become a leader. You know, and you have to pay your way to be to become an anointed man of the Lord. Where is that in the scriptures, man? In the scripture I, that I brought, I said, buy the truth and sell it not. So th this truth, and as I brought the other precept, money, only thing money has to do with this truth is, is, is paying the tithes, man. In the form of alms, it isn't a uh, uh, a mandate to where you have to pay all this money to become a man of the Lord. All right. So that's how you know that it's is 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 uh this truth. I mean, that's how you know that the plantation Christianity is pure bullshit, man. This is uh First Corinthians. <clears throat> so like um yeah here it is first corinthians 14 and 32 it says and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets okay so it's is is becoming a prophet becoming a man of the lord is something that's natural it's something that's natural to you man there's nothing that you have to to pay for pay your way for it and then earn a degree no it's just within your spirit. You know, the Lord hits that switch. And you back out there in the highways and byways. Uh, teaching, teaching our people, man. And prophesying to our people and even prophesying to these, to the heathens. It has nothing to do with taking out loans and you know, the spirit of prophet subject unto the prophets. And but all the prophets have to take out loans, you know. And go through four years 
of schooling. All right. And in buildings. And that's another thing. Go through school and buildings who officially say, all right, now that you got your degree, don't lose it. Don't lose it. You know, now that you got your degree, you can officially call yourself a profit. That's that's bull crap, man. You know. So this is just something to keep in mind off the rip when, you know, a, a so-called plantation Christianity tries to come and. And oh, we want to talk about this. We want to talk about well look, you you look, you 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 done from the start. Because you have to pay about forty four thousand to anywhere from forty four thousand to seventy thousand to declare yourself a man of the Lord. And that's total bull crap, man. Then you gotta go through four years of schooling in buildings to officially call yourself a man of the Lord. When the scriptures here says Proverbs 1 and 20 wisdom Christ without she uttered her voice in the streets. Not in the colleges. You know. Not in the schools, in the school systems. OK. Wisdom simply cometh from the streets, man. You could take it to the street, you know, cost nothing to take it to the streets. All right. And ultimately, who's in the streets? The men of the Lord. So this is something to keep in mind, you know. When the so-called uh, plantation Christianity think they got something to say. You, all, you, you ain't looking right from the start, man. So Lord, one was edifying and I'm going to say Shalom.